Hello everyone, this is Raheel, and today I'll be discussing how to replicate Adobe XD's states uh, in Figma. I'll be using buttons as an example of this, just because I think it's the most easiest example. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. The first thing we have to do is create a button. So I've already created a button here and turned it into a component. How you create a component is, well, I'll just show you how to create a button component. You would just create a rectangle and then put text in the box saying button. Um, and then you would just select the two of them, then click on the component, create component button, and it creates a component. You just rename it, and it's pretty simple like that. Uh, so I've created a component here already and styled it to my wishes. And uh, how what, what you have to do to create a separate state of this component is actually create a separate instance. So how we create a separate instance is we actually uh, duplicate the artboard that it's in. To duplicate the artboard, just hold Option or uh, you click on the artboard and click Command D, uh, or you can copy and paste whatever you prefer. And I just put this one down below and change the styling of this button. So when you click on this new button that's created over here, you can see that it doesn't have the master component icon beside it, which means it is an instant. So that means you can change it and it won't change the master component. Whereas if you change this, then well, it will change every other component that's with it. Now that we have this, uh, now that we have this new instance, what we have to do is actually select the origin component and um, select the prototype tab. And then you click on the interaction while hovering. And then you go to, uh, it's like usually on none, and you go on to while hovering. And then you choose the second state of the button, just press swap with, and then click on button. Uh, so that'll be the separate state of this. Uh, that'll be the, that'll be another state of the button. It won't be the exact same thing, even though it's the name, the exact same. Uh, then you, I just chose Smart Anime because it has a cool transition. And then when you go into the preview window, and you hover onto it, it does exactly that. It, it gives a really cool hover animation. Now there are a few downsides to using component states because if your interfaces get really complicated, there ends up being lots of artboards. And if you're wondering if you can uh, do this problem without having, like, uh, do the hover state without having an artboard like Adobe XD does, then you can't because what it does is if you hover on it, then it has this weird like animation which is not right. So um, yeah, it's not like it's really like glitched out. Um, so. If you want to do if you want to do lots of animations, probably stick with Adobe XD. But this is just uh, the way that you would have you would be able to do it in Figma. So uh, that's all for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, and you have a great rest of your day. See ya.